let's switch the edge now. I'm so tired of uh, Notepad. Let's try and do it in a real tool. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. There's a lot. There's brackets. There's uh, so many great uh, web storms, so many great tools out there. But this is open source. Uh, it's cross-platform. So I'm just going to use that one. And I'm going to use it in Windows. So let's let's try and download it. It should pop up with a link soon. And it's just, again, basic setup. Click, 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 click. I'm not going to do any changes. Let's just uh, wait until it's downloaded. So Visual Studio Code has been downloaded. Let me just double click it and start the installer. And again, yeah, I'll, I'll run it. It's I'm going to do it pretty fast again because it's, it's just I'm not going to do any changes. Next, I accept the terms. I put it in the default folder. Yes, I uh, accept everything with the icons and I just install. So I'll see when it's done. So the tool has been installed. Let's just do a finish and launch Visual Studio Code and just try and open our beautiful, very, very simple, beautiful project that we just started out. So I'll do here, I'll go in and say file, open folder, and I'll find our projects. So our project in my case was under work and I went under, where did I put it? Basic node. So I'll just do right here. This is the place that I put my file, my server.js file. I'll open this one and hopefully it'll pop up with my new beautiful setup here. And, and notice now we start having a real editor that can actually start showing some code support and helping us out a bit. So let's use this from now on and let's Stop using Notepad. Bye-bye, Notepad. See you later. See you in the next lessons.